Hello, I'm Dr. Stephen Garber, the Medical Director of Obstetric Anesthesiology at Saddleback Hospital, and I'm going to be showing you the Rivana Acuro device today. At the beginning, we're just going to go through how it works, basically turning it on and off of some of the features that you'll notice right away that are very useful. When you get the device, it's usually charged somewhat. It's very easy to charge. There's a USB and a cord that's included. And when you first turn the device on, you'll see it boots up. So you'll notice after the boot up, we have three icons, spine, bone, and tissue. The view exam gallery, there's an on off and a settings. One of the useful features is capturing images. If you go to the setting, you'll see language, date, etc. But we'll go down here to the physical button. And when you hit the physical button, there's two options, cine and still image. I like to leave it on the cine uh, button because you're actually able to take a very short video of what you're doing and capturing the Acuro in action. And you can use that to show your colleagues how it actually works without demonstrating on a patient. So we're gonna go back to home here. Now, one of the useful features is when you're on this screen, if you use the power, the button, which is also the power button, if you just press it once, it puts it in sleep mode. That way you do not have to repower and reboot up the device, and that will last for several hours before you have to charge it in the sleep mode. So we go back and then get back to our screen, and we're gonna to go to our spine mode. Basically, this is what you're gonna see prior to actually having it on the patient and before you start scanning, and that's the screen you wanna be in. In addition, on this screen, you can adjust the depth by pressing on the left-hand side. It adjusts from six to 12 centimeters, and the default is 10 centimeters. The brightness can be controlled on the right side as well by tapping and adjusting accordingly. I'm gonna be demonstrating the use of the device in a couple of different scenarios. Obviously, this is for demonstration purposes only. I'm not gonna be actually doing an epidural at this time. There are a couple of ways that I use the device. The first I'm gonna show you is a scout mode. One of the things I think is important is to have your epidural tray open and your drugs ready and everything drawn up because you don't wanna to wait too long after you've marked the spot that it may possibly disappear. So the first thing I do is I uh, prep the back and I'm just using some floor prep and I'm gonna re-prep again to do the epidural. So this is just kind of a, a a prep to start just for the scout only. We have a sterile needle guide, Acuro locator needle guide, okay? So this is sterile. The device has been cleaned and sanitized every, after every use with a sandy wipe so that we know it's clean. And I will apply some gel prior to initiating everything. And that's all you need, not very much. It does come with a small tube of gel in your uh, packet there. I have previously palpated the iliac crest, so we're going to go parallel to that area. I'll put the needle locator on, and you'll hear it click into place. We're in the sleep mode, so we just touch once, and we'll come up with our icons, and we'll hit the spine mode. So we're ready to scan now and apply it to the skin. So initially you'll see a blue overlay, which is a spinous process. That is not where you want to go. And you can see in the bottom an actual image, 2D image of the vertebrae. So what we're going to do is scan up and down until we see the orange overlay. That tells us there's an epidural space. You can see the red line. That tells us the midline and to the right you can see the depth. Now I have it in cine mode, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this button and it's going to take a very short video and that's saved in there. So this is exactly what you want is that picture right there. You can see the depth is 4.0. The orange overlay actually gets bigger and smaller because the bigger it is, it tells you the more space you have. As I'm scanning, I would also like to mention that there are practitioners that use the device to identify the L5 S1 space and then count up from there to administer their epidural. And it just takes very, very gentle movements. Then right there, we're gonna mark. So you're gonna feel some pressure. And this is the technique I like to use. People use different techniques. Press. 
Okay. And you can see the four dots. And right there, that is where we're going to go. And I can actually feel that space very well there. It's, it's just perfect. So I like to just mark it. Some people will use the end of a needle, but that's the spot. And then what I'll do is I'll reprep. New gloves, uh, new sterile sheet and everything, and then go ahead and do the epidural. So this way you see that it's not worn off, the mark is still very good, still fresh, and everything's ready to go. You go ahead and do your epidural, you're all set.